Pernambuco. Pernambuco. It's um, endangered wood from Brazil. Yes. And our bows are made of it. Carbon fiber bows. There's a great brand from Germany, Arcus. Yeah. Um, 10,000 plus sometimes. Um, they're, they're S9. Carbon fiber bows versus Pernambuco bows. What's your thoughts? I actually, I always like the idea of, of, of new materials and innovation. I think that's good. It's a pity to see that they use Pernambuco for lousy bows. Like it's a pity to use ebony woods on lousy instruments. Okay. This is a problem. At the fair in China, how many bows they make and how many lousy bows for six euros you can buy a bow out of Pernambuco wood. It just, it hurts, you know, this is, this is like crime. So if you give them, the, child, the children, a, a carbon fiber bow, this works great, no problems. They can drop it, it doesn't break. I think this is perfect. And then certainly with a carbon fiber bow, you can at a certain level of price, you can beat with this S9, but even a, le a smaller S5 or something, you, for the same amount of money, let's say 5,000 euro carbon fiber bow, 5,000 euro uh, Pernambuco, very likely the carbon fiber bow is much better and has a stable quality. You can play outside, you don't have problems, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't use uh, off and, and, and so there are a lot of advantages. What I don't like because of the uh, carbon fiber is that it becomes like a religion, you know. If somebody's playing with the carbon fiber, the other one sees me and say, I ah, have the carbon fiber, I, saw, I can hear it sound so hard and it... I don't want all this talking about the carbon fiber. So the Chinese actually did it, that they make carbon fiber bows and wrapped with wooden uh, <laughs> that around. It's just, this is just the Chinese way how they do it. It's just great. And I think for students and, and most people, something like this, at least when you play outside, take something like this, cost little, and it works pretty good. For sure, if you take a carbon fiber bow, don't buy it just on the internet and don't send it. From one to each other, there can be huge differences. So take it yourself in your hand, Choose it, and if you like it and you feel that it works with your playing, then take it. And same thing certainly for wooden bowls, but never just take it and that's it.